Cool. So we're at the Athlete Lounge and Retool Studio in Boulder, Colorado, and Ian Boswell is Skyping in from Nice to join us for a discussion today. Ian, welcome to the show. Great to have you with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, George. So Ian, things kind of got a little turned upside down for you after Perry Nice. What exactly happened? Yeah, so I think uh, I've been kind of battling a knee injury since since the beginning of the season, kind of off and on, kind of you know taking days off here and there, just let it you know so the inflammation go away. And after Perry Nice, it kind of uh, flared up a bit, and just kind of managing it and taking some a few easy days in between the finish of Perry Nice and Criterium International, which was like ten days afterwards. Um, and then Perry, uh, Perry Nice, I was able to finish on stage seven. Uh, due to my knee and I went to Criterium International and same thing. Started the first stage and didn't start the time trial that afternoon due to a knee injury. Now, did that come about because of uh, one of the crashes you had at Perry Nice? Uh, the team's actually still unsure. I've had an MRI on my knee and I saw a little bit of inflammation there in my knee. And you know, I think it's partially due to maybe the crash, but also just the increase in, in workload and the level at, you know, of the Pro Tour racing. And, Know, been training a lot more and racing a lot harder, so it's uh, just a combination of things, I think. Now, is that something where rest is really what's required to get it to heal? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, it's knee injuries are kind of, uh, you know, it's not like a broken bone where, you, you know, the doctor says, you know, we'll do this surgery, take this many days off, and then you'll be able to ride again. It you know, could be a week, it could be a month. Um, so it's kind of, you know, towing the line for a while, you know, it's, I would take a couple of days off and I would train and be okay. I'd train the next day and then it would kind of flare up again. Then I would have to resort to you know, taking a few more days off. So the team finally just decided to you know, not start for me and pay Vasco, take a break, you know, figure it out, fully rest until there's no pain, and then come back you know, more slowly and you know, kind of build up. So hopefully I can uh, you know, be ready come, come later this month or, or May. So you are in full rest mode. I mean, you're not, you can't use the leg right now. Yeah, I've actually did my first ride outside yesterday, uh, just like an hour easy. It was it was all right, but still a bit of uh, kind of pain in my knee, just like standing up. And you know, I think it's it's getting better, but just being really cautious. You know, working with the team doctor and the physio, making sure that you know it's fully recovered before I come back. Yeah, I was just going to ask. You must be working really closely as well with a coach. I mean, I'm sure they're watching your watts and everything, power output. Yeah, that's one thing with. Scott, you know, such a thorough team. We, uh, you know, once I finished the stage of Criterium International, decided that you know it was too much to, to keep going. I met with the team doctor. Uh, he assessed my knee, and then that afternoon um, they booked me a flight to go up to Manchester later that week to, uh, to see the team doctor and the physio, and actually do a bike fit again with Retool. Um, so I flew up there, got to do a bike fit, changed a few things around, and it's actually helped quite a bit just with the the change in, in position, just to kind of make sure everything was still still aligned and had you know good pedal stroke and whatnot uh, but some of the inflammation was still there so even just riding even after i got the bike fit done was you know still aggravating this and just decided to fully let it rest and once i come back everything should be dialed in now you seem totally mellow about everything is your mental state okay i mean having an injury like that has this ever happened to you before i know i just threw two questions at you but yeah i've had uh knee, i actually had a knee injury back in 2000 10 when I was with Bissell, about the same time of year, and actually wound up taking that was like almost a month off the bike, and then came back and actually had a pretty good late summer tour in Utah, and the tour to Lafayette that year. So uh, when I first got the injury, it's always a bit, you know, a bit discouraging, and you're a bit down because it's you, know, you want to be up to racing. You worked hard all winter to you know reach a level of fitness, and then every day you take off the bike and you can see your your fitness slowly declining. Um, but I'm at a point now. I know you know I know it's an injury. I know what I have to do to you know. Let it heal and get better. So just taking it easy and you know knowing that I'm in good hands with the team and you know when I come back I'll be be motivated and the weather should be good and ready for the races come come May. What's coming up? Uh, so the Ardennes Classics were my next scheduled race, which would be uh, the 14th, 19th, I think. I think uh, maybe the 21st is the age best on the age. Um, so I'm actually going to potentially fly up see the team, uh, team physio, work with him a bit. Most likely won't be racing, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, but there's potential of me maybe starting one of the races if everything is all right, and then after that I'll have a little kind of block of, of training, hopefully all is well, and we can build up for, for races in the summer, I think Tour de Suisse and uh, Baden-Rumfart in, in Germany. 
I'm certainly hoping we're going to see you out here in Colorado. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I think a lot of the staff and riders on Sky are excited to, to do Tour of Colorado this year and, you know, be a great race to come back to the U.S. and race at an altitude, one of my favorite, favorite things to do. You don't really get exposed to that too much over in Europe because you don't have, you know, cities that sit at 6,000 feet and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, hopefully come, come U.S. Pro Challenge, I'll be over there and racing for Team Scott. Ian, it's great to check in with you. I'd like to uh, do kind of a weekly check with you, if you don't mind, to see how you're doing and keep everybody appraised of uh, your recovery. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. And hopefully, uh, next time we talk next week, I'll be, be back riding. That'd be very good to hear. sure appreciate you taking the time out of your day to visit with us. Yeah, thank you, George. Thanks, Ian. Retool I'm George TV. Nice. I'm George Thomas. Have a good one.